Remember having dreams? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. I... <laughs> I made goals in January. <laughs> Girl, what is January? Is my shirt dirty? Do I want to hook this on my body? Am I lazy? Yeah, I am lazy. I thought it would be uh, a fun thing to look at my goals from 2020, from the beginning of 2020 and just see how far we've come. Comment on them, giving you a little director's cut of my life. Let's have a look, shall we? And now for a dramatic reading of my hopes and dreams. I actually had four categories of goals. So let's start <laughs> with travel. I wanted to go to Art Basel in Miami. I wanted to, you know, get my art ho lifestyle on, you know what I mean? I believe Art Basel is either canceled or pushed to December. Now, here's the thing. There's still hope. But then you remember that Miami is in Florida. <laughs> and that hope dwindles. Uh, the next one was Arizona. And, you know, like the orange atmosphere i wanted to feel like a bible character in the wilderness you know what i mean the chakras and the vibes i wanted it all oh boy. i wanted to be on the beach for my birthday <laughs> it just says beach birthday my birthday is in less than a month so <laughs> i'm turning 30 uh anticlimactic to say the least, I wanted to rage, but raging is just not responsible. There's no way to rage responsibly during uh, a global pandemic. If I go to a beach, it'll be like seclu secluded. Maybe get my Lisa Left Eye Lopez on, be in the wilderness, be in a waterfall somewhere. I just don't know about getting on planes and the closest, the beach I could drive to, it's like Galveston. I don't wanna dip in the Gulf of Mexico, but, <laughs> I will if I have to. I'm not I'm not too proud to dip my hip in the Gulf of Mexico with the um with the crawfish. And then my final travel goal, I had the Pacific Northwest. I just wanted to go to Washington State or like Oregon or something and just like vibe. I just wanted to commune with nature. I dreamed a dream. I'll be communing at home. <laughs> Moving on to my personal goals, which I didn't know what else to name this category, but it's a goal that has nothing to do with um, receiving a paycheck. So my first personal goal, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, no, no, we're cousins, we're cousins. Um, you can roast me, you can roast, but keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. I'm wanting to improve my personal style. I, wa I wanted to improve my personal style. I thought I would be around more people this year. <laughs> I wanted to be cute. We not going nowhere. So I haven't been wearing much. So I had this little idea to like make my friends their um, Christmas gift. And it would be like a cookbook. Like you would get a cookbook of the friend group's favorite dishes. Um, and so now I, I think I could still do that. It would have a different, you know, connotation because we can't see each other um, in the way we would want to see each other. So it would be like, oh, what you been cooking during quarantine? I put in, I throw it in the cookbook. We have a Zoom, a Zoom cook <laughs> together. <laughs> I wanted to go on a monthly hike, which I have. Okay, that's the only thing I can do. So I've gone on way more than monthly than a monthly hike. No one's hiking close to each other, you know what I'm saying? Hiking, going to parks, the outside has been one of the few things that has kept me. Okay, it's kept me. I'm super grateful for access to the outside. It's a, it's a wealth of uh, landscape available to me. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to test some recipes. I have an imaginary food truck in my mind. 
Um, and it's not a thing I'm actively pursuing. It's not a career that I'm actually going for or a business that I'm actually going for. And so every once in a while, I like to pretend that I'm, you know, developing recipes for that food truck. And so I just wanted to develop some recipes for that food truck. I did play around with um, chips masala. Um, it was delicious. And I made, ooh, and I made some jalapeno cilantro sauce using jalapenos from my garden. I don't have it anymore, but I did for a while and it was fun while it lasted. This next goal, I wanted to increase my flexibility. <laughs> I am stiff and I always have been. You know how people are like, yeah, when I was like three years old, I would like tumble and blah, blah, blah. Like I, did, I couldn't do any of that. So I've always been kind of inflexible and I just wanted to gain more flexibility. Now, I know what you're thinking. Evelyn, stuck in the house, you could have worked on that. But guess what? I didn't. <laughs> I've queued up all the YouTube videos to help me stretch. I've watched. I've learned. I, I, I haven't done it yet. It's kind of embarrassing, but we move. Okay, or not. For my career. <laughs> What was that? Okay, I had a goal and I'm still working towards that goal to, because I haven't started. I wanted to complete a rough draft of a pilot. Pilot episode of television. 30 minute comedy. Um, and that's just something that I have not sat down to do. I don't have, a, I don't have an excuse. A thing that this pandemic has done to me is made me question the point of striving. And so, like, I'm in that space right now. And it's like, why not do the bare minimum? Why strive? Why? <laughs> anyway, no one told you to therapize me, okay? I've, I've shared too much. Next goal was to launch a newsletter. I did it. I have a great time creating them, writing them, drawing the little doodles that I include in every email. It's just fun and it's low low pressure low what's the word production you know what i mean july will be my fifth newsletter oh my god get a little of this i wanted to write one script a month <laughs> I really thought I was gonna have creative juices just flowing, blowing, blowing. Pen game Hulk. No, but really, I just wanted to write um, small, when I, like a scene. So when I say I wanted to write one script a month, it was more like a couple pages. Just to practice, just to get the practice in. Because my 2020 mantra was like, get your hands dirty. Just like, get in there. No, I don't know how to do anything, but there's only one way to find out, which is to do it and figure it out. Towards like April or May, I was like, oh, I have to hack my brain. The only way I'll write the script if it's for, is if it's for work. And so then I tried to like script sketch sketches for YouTube. Um, still didn't do it. <laughs> still, still didn't do it. <laughs> didn't post no sketches. <laughs> and finally, the business category of goals. I wanted to... Set up and maintain work slash cash flow systems. It was just about getting my finances in order, meaning like, what is my process for keeping track of invoices? What is my process for setting aside money for taxes? What is my budget? What I didn't have a lot of that figured out. I was kind of just operating like I always used to operate, which is, do I have money? Yes or no. And that's just not good enough. <laughs> if I have goals and things I want to achieve. But even in terms of like, it's a pandemic. How can I help my family if it comes to that? I just needed to be able to like understand money better so that I can make decisions more strategically. So yeah, shout out to Julia from Two Cents for helping me get my life together. An immense help, wow. Wow. The next goal in the business category was to, I'm going to keep that one under wraps, okay? Real G's move in silence like gnome. And then my final business goal was to launch Smack Your Lip, the YouTube channel. Um, 
I launched Smack Your Lip, announced it maybe twice in other videos. Okay. I have 3,000 whole subscribers. I appreciate I appreciate because there's nothing on that channel. I did a test video and like I filmed it, I edited it. I wanted to see what the vibe would be for the channel. And then I just fell off and I didn't feel like um, being about it anymore. Again, I was, I came to this point where I was like, I feel like I'm striving. Am, am I striving? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> so, um, that's what I said. <laughs> Cute. Real cute. I present to you my new bullet journal and my new goals. Forget that. Erase it from your mind. I'm about to introduce you to the art of starting over. I titled my goals page of my bullet journal, We Really Having Goals in This Economy. I had a really long talk with myself. I said, self, what's the point? Not in a sad way, but in a holistic way. And myself says, self, we are experiencing hard times. We always have. I said it before, there's not been a time in which I haven't been tried. We have to create the world we want to live in. I always say I hate it here. Like that's my new phrase. Like anytime I hear something, anytime I experience something, I'm just like, wow, I hate it here. But the thing of it is, is that I can't go anywhere else, right? We're here. And I don't just mean the United States. I mean planet Earth, you know what I'm saying? We have to take care of planet Earth because there's nowhere else we can go. My new goals just relate to educating myself and like learning, cultivating my natural wisdom, but also seeking wisdom from other sources as well. That includes assessing the things that I'm doing and like, what is my YouTube channel gonna look like moving forward? Um, I talked to Baby Blow about Patreon and, and how that, can shift some things. Thinking about writing that script. I've applied, I've applied to things. Do what it is I actually say I'm trying to do. And I think that a lot of y'all can relate because we say these things, but it's like you have to do them. <laughs> and I'm also in the middle of creating a syllabus for myself of things I want to learn and read about, reading other people's stories, just to get a grasp of like, what is it that we're here? What are we trying to do here? COVID-19 has really made me feel like, okay, let's, let's focus. Let's, we have to work together. We literally can't afford, like we can't afford not to. Oh, and that reminds me, Shout out to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Audible has a huge selection of audiobooks, including Audible Originals, which are exclusive titles created by storytellers in different genres like journalism, literature, theater. Get your first audiobook plus a monthly selection of Audible Originals free when you sign up for a 30-day trial membership. Visit audible.com slash Evelyn or text Evelyn to 500-500. So in my queue, I have Unapologetic, a Black, Queer, and Feminine Mandate for Radical Movements by Charlene A. Carruthers. I also have Disability Visibility by Alice Wong. We have to imagine a, a different world and this different world can't leave anybody out. Like what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> we learn from each other how to do better and how to handle each other with more care. And so... That's why that's in my queue. I also have Entangled Life by Merlin Sheldrake. It's about mushrooms. Oh yeah, I have Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, Afrofuturism, sci-fi, fantasy. And I got Big Friendship on pre-order. Big Friendship, How We Keep Each Other Close by Aminatsu and Anne. They are the hosts of the podcast Call Your Girlfriend. Relationships and like, keeping pe people close to you. So that's what I'm getting into. That's the vibe I'm moving forward with. And that's how Audible is helping me, you know, figure out my place in the world around me. So if you want to get started with your free 30 day trial membership, which includes an audiobook and access to a monthly selection of Audible originals, visit audible.com slash Evelyn or text Evelyn to 500-500. Oh, I actually do have an original in here. Hold on. Library, Life Ever After by Carla Growls. 
it looks like a like a black mirror esque technology esque thing. She's a playwright, so I was figured, okay, let me let me dive in, let me do a little dabble. <laughs> so in the comments below, let me know. <laughs> let me know how you did on your goals, y'all. How'd y'all do? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, hopefully you can like look back and laugh at some of these things, at some of the goals <laughs> you had. It's okay. So I'll see you in the comments and I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye. I can see my vision board. My vision board. <laughs> my vision board is right there laughing at me. It says, it says creative. It says ZZZ as in sleep. I've, I've gotten a lot of that. It says go.